The title of this book is called Eating the Alphabet, Fruits and Vegetables from A to Z by Louis Elhert. Apple to zucchini. Come take a look. Start eating your way through this alphabet book. So this book's about an alphabet, A all the way to Z. So what's the first letter going to be? Let's find out. A. Here's some fruits and vegetables that start with A. Apricot, artichoke, avocado. Mmm, I love those. Apples. I like green apples myself. And asparagus. B for blueberry, Brussels sprouts. I like those. They're pretty good, actually. Bean. There's lots of different beans. You see that? There's brown beans, kidney beans, lima beans, green beans, then beets, broccoli, and banana. Who likes bananas? C. There's a currant, corn, celery, cucumber. Then on the other page, we have cherries, cabbage. It looks like lettuce, I know, but that's a cabbage. Cauliflower. And what's that orange thing? Carrot. I wonder what letter comes after the letter C. A, B, C, D. Not many things start with the letter D for food. Date. And then the next letter E. Endive. And also an eggplant that's purple. And what's after E there? F for a fig. G for gooseberries and grapefruit. Sometimes grapefruits look a little orange also. Then they have grapes. I like the green grapes more than the purple grapes. And then after G is the letter H for huckleberry. I've never had one of those. I for Indian corn. And then J for jalapeno. You see those? Those are very whoo, spicy. And then a jicama. It looks like a potato kind of, but it definitely doesn't taste like one. The next letter is K. We have kumquats, kiwi fruits. I love kiwis. I even eat the skin off them. It's sour. It's good. And Kohlrabi. I wonder what comes after K. We have I, J, K, L. For L, we have a leek and lemon. Oh, and then what's that big green thing there? Lettuce. We make good salads with those. And the next thing is a lime. I know lime and lemons, sometimes we pronounce them differently. But the limes are green and lemons are yellow. M for a melon. Now, that's not a watermelon. That's just a melon. And then also mangoes. I like my mangoes green, sour mangoes. Then we have the next letter, N for nectarine. That is kind of like a peach, but it tastes different a little bit. Then we have O for, oh, what's that? thing there oranges then we have something called okra we have onions and lots of different types of onions there as you can see p for a peach ooh pineapples and that's a pear then we also have papaya plum persimmons and pomegranates. P again. We have more things that start with the letter P. Parsnip. Potatoes. There's different potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Regular potatoes. Russet potatoes. Golden potatoes. Then we have things. It looks like a green bean, but it's a P. It's the little things inside. Then we have peppers. Some peppers are spicy. Some peppers are not spicy. Oh, and what's that big orange thing? <gasps> Pumpkin. Yeah. Q 
for quince, then R. We have a rutabaga, a radish, and one of my favorite fruits, raspberries. Yummy, yummy. We also have a rhubarb and radicchio on the other page. S for Swiss chard, spinach, which is good for you. Some of y'all know likes to eat spinach. I think his name is Popeye. Also, star fruit. Those taste pretty good. Ooh, on the other page, we have strawberries. I know a lot of you like strawberries. The next letter is T for turnip. Ooh, and that little thing, it looks like an orange, but it's smaller. It's called a tangerine. Can you say that? Tangerine. Those are yummy. And also, the red thing is a tomato. U for ugly fruit. Oh, that's a funny name. I've never had that one before. V for vegetable marrow. W for watercress. That's a vegetable. And it tastes very good, actually. And also, watermelon. Mmm, those are juicy and taste delicious. X for shiga. It looks like a watermelon, but I've never had that. Then a Y for yam. And what's the last letter in the alphabet? Z for zucchini. Looks like a cucumber, but it's called a zucchini, and it tastes different. To learn more about the fruits and vegetables, you can look them up. You can ask your moms and dads. And when you go to the grocery store, you can look at fruits and vegetables and try to remember the things that we've seen and read about today. It's always good to taste new fruits and vegetables. It's good for you.